break from this, folks. Do me a favor. Grab your remote control and pause this for a second. Phew. Thanks. Uh, you're probably wondering how we got into this mess, right? Well, it all started earlier today with a picnic by the lake. It was a pretty good picnic. John, Liz, the dog, and me. Oh, and the food was pretty good, too. I think I put it best when I said... I'm full. I'm full. I'm so full I couldn't eat another bite if my life depended on it. And for dessert, I brought along a strawberry what? cheesecake. Okay, maybe one more bite. Garfield. Or two. Or 78. Garfield, this cheesecake is for all of us. And it's for later. <laughs> Liz and I are going for a walk around the lake. Do not eat the cheesecake while we're gone. And this is where John made his customary cheap threat. <laughs> if you do, you can walk the 20 miles home. Hey, that wasn't a bad one. <laughs> Come on, John. I need to stretch my legs. What do you think the chances are that cheesecake will be there when we get back? Oh, it'll be there. It'll probably be inside Garfield, but it'll be there. I was glad they went for a walk. Now there was nothing that could interrupt my nap. <sighs> well, almost nothing. I do not want to play a game. Oh, all right. I'll play a game. How about if we play Go Get It? You don't know how to play Go Get It? Okay, then I'll teach you. Go get it. It's my favorite game, Go Get It. If they put it on television, they'd make a fortune. Mm, that cheesecake looks mighty good. No, I need to sleep, and I don't want to walk home. I just give me a little more rest. Then again, it's only 20 miles. Anyway, while I was contemplating that dilemma, Odie was in search of his bone. Now, I wasn't there for this part, but I found out later he looked everywhere for it, in the bushes, behind rocks. There was no sign of it. He was just about ready to give up when he spotted it. It was a little wolf, just a couple of weeks old. Odie thought the wolf was very cute, but he wasn't about to let it have his bone. Well, he wasn't until he realized how hungry the little wolf was. Odie discovered the joys of sharing your food with someone else. I'll have to try that sometime. Maybe not this millennium. After a while, Odie realized that there wasn't much nourishment in that old bone. The little wolf still looked hungry. Where to get food, he wondered. Where to get food. But of course, there was only one answer. Odie brought the little wolf back to the picnic area where I was in my usual habitat, dreamland. <sighs> Odie usually doesn't do sneaky things, but I guess hanging around with me for all these years has uh, had its effect on him. <laughs> Meanwhile, John and Liz were finishing their hike. Don't you want to get back while there's still a chance of a small piece of cheesecake? You know, sometimes I don't have enough faith in Garfield. He's basically a good cat. <laughs> you watch. I'll bet the cheesecake is untouched. John was wrong. It had been touched, all right, but just not by me. Good, because I can't wait to have some of that cheesecake. Odie probably wasn't worried about what they do to him. He was worried about the little wolf. Huh? 
Just give me a small piece of cheesecake, Liz. I don't want to... Huh? We'll be small. About the size of a crumb. Garfield! Yikes! I... <laughs> How could you? How could you eat that entire cheesecake while we were away? Huh? I didn't eat the cheesecake, honest. On my honor as an overweight pussycat, I did not eat one bite of that cheesecake. Did I eat that cheesecake? No, amazingly, I did not. You're lying, Garfield. If you didn't, who did? Odie would never do anything that sneaky. John, you're not gonna make him walk home. No, but I should. I'll figure out a suitable punishment when we get home. <sighs> This feels like we didn't eat all the food. How did that happen? We got the car all packed up and we headed back to town. It was probably about then that the little wolf's mother arrived. She must have picked up the scent or something. She was pretty determined to get her baby back, no matter how far she had to follow. All the way home, I was angry. I'm innocent, I tell you. I never touched that cheesecake. The one time I didn't take the food and I'm being punished for it. <laughs> John dropped Liz off at her place and then we headed for home. I'll be over after I finish some chores. And someone else was heading for our home too. <laughs> of course, John was still mad at me. How could you? I didn't. Huh? <laughs> Bodie was worried that he'd get in trouble for giving the cheesecake to the wolf. Or maybe that somebody would put his new friend in a zoo or something. How could you? When nobody was looking, he snuck the little wolf out. Bodie told the little wolf to stay there in the garage and he'd bring him food. He was probably gonna borrow another cheesecake and they'd blame it on me. It was about then that our visitor arrived. About the time I thought John had forgiven me for the cheesecake incident. Dinner, Garfield! Well, it's about time. Maybe John finally realized I'm innocent. Of this, anyway. I'm having a porterhouse steak, baked potato with everything, glazed carrots, sautéed <laughs> mushrooms, and a dinner roll. You get Kitty Crunch dry imitation cat food. It's not fair! I'm being punished for eating an entire cheesecake, and I didn't even get to eat the entire cheesecake. That's all you're getting for the rest of the month. Oh, I'll bet Odie would enjoy that yummy piece of steak. Odie, here, boy. He's just doing this to torment me. It's working, I'm tormented. Come on, Odie, come enjoy the steak. Huh? I didn't. <laughs> The word you're looking for is wolf. What do we do, Garfield? I think it's obvious what we do. We run! So that's how we wound up being chased around John's house by a savage wolf. Do you understand now? No, 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 no. Don't unpause the video. Too late. It looks 
looks like this is it for us, Garfield. Do you have any final regrets? Yes, I regret that I didn't eat the cheesecake. <laughs> I've arranged for the pet control people to take them back to the woods where they belong. Thanks, Liz. Oh, by the way, I examined a little wolf cub. He had strawberry cheesecake in the fur around his mouth. You mean he... Uh, not Garfield? Just because I can't talk doesn't mean you can't listen to me. Come on, Garfield. I think I owe you a good meal to say I'm sorry. I think about a 10 lasagna apologies in order. I make that 11. 